Hi, so this might seem a little unexpected, but since I tried something new for once, which I feel like I just don't tend to do, I really wanted to provide my opinion on what my experience has been like playing Anthem. So lately, these past few days, I have been feeling frustrated a little bit at the fact that I just don't play anything anymore. I don't watch streams very often, but when I do, it's usually Smash or Dota. And when I just see people playing games and having fun, I just think about how that used to be me. And nowadays, I just don't do that anymore. So I was thinking, screw it, I'm gonna just try some games out. And I came across the live action trailer for Anthem on YouTube. For some random reason, it was on trending, I think. And it stuck out to me because it was directed by Neil Blomkamp, who is a director that I'm very familiar with. And the trailer turned out to be pretty cool. It was very engaging. So when I found out that this was an upcoming game, I decided to try it out. I was feeling very antsy. And I was like, oh, there's abilities and stuff along with shooting to kill stuff. So I was thinking the abilities part would help keep my interest because I normally don't consider myself someone who plays first person shooters but that might be something that I just never got into because I did play Halo on Xbox Live many many years ago on the original Xbox and I had a lot of fun with that and I know that's console and it's separate but I just think that there is potential for me to enjoy a first person shooter so anyways this game isn't exactly like that but I will say that I don't actually know much about the game. I didn't do a lot of research. I decided to buy the Origin Premiere subscriber, $15, which lets you play, uh, I think, everything in their library for that month though, because the original game is $60. And I'm so glad that my ex-boyfriend told me about the Origin subscriber thing because I was probably gonna just spend the $60 and I am so glad I did it because the game seems like it has potential, but I feel like it just lacks so many things for a game that is coming out in 2019 that I'm kind of blown away by how bad it is. I wrote down a few things that bugs the crap out of me about this game, so we'll go through that. First off, I'll try my best to kind of explain things as well as I can, but I still think that my understanding of the game is still on a surface level, so forgive me if I don't provide too much detail, and also in case I say incorrect things, just know that I don't have a thorough understanding of the game, but this is just what I feel based on what I know from someone who has only played for two days. And I suppose the reason that I'm deciding to make the video now compared to later when I've played it longer is I'm not actually sure I want to put more time into this game. I do enjoy it in some aspects, but there are some things right now that are gating me from really wanting to invest more time into it. And honestly, I don't really feel like this is a game that has long-term potential for me anyways. There is this place that feels like a home base kind of thing. You go out, you do missions, you do objectives, and then you usually return to this home base place and it is called Fort Tarsus and there's a bunch of NPCs standing around there you have your javelin waiting there for you to go on expeditions kind of like a town that you walk around, you pick up quests, you talk to people, you interact with stuff and for some reason in this place you cannot run or you can't jump I don't fucking know why but you just walk through this place slow as fuck when you first spawn into the game you spawn completely opposite from your javelin so you're just spending the first couple seconds you enter this game walking all the way to your javelin in order to go do missions or expeditions or free play and every single time i go back to this four tarsus i feel so annoyed by the fact that you're slow as fuck and they make you run around to talk to npcs before you go back to do your expeditions and it's so slow. I don't understand why they think that players wouldn't want to run in the town. Like I 
something like that just boggles my mind. It just kind of makes you wonder who they were designing this game for. So that is one aspect that I feel like is super lacking. There is also no auto run. I am not familiar with a wide variety of games, so I'm not even sure if auto run is something that designers tend to put into games, but I feel like if there's any sort of run aspect in a game, you should have at least an auto run toggle. So if someone doesn't have to keep their fingers pressed on a button forever, especially for a command like moving forward, which you do almost all the time in a game. So no auto run and you move slow as fuck in Fort Tarsus. So the next one is probably related to just me not being familiar with an objective based game that has leveling. It seems like you don't get experience until you complete your mission entirely. So expeditions are basically you party up with four people. It kind of spawns you in your own little instance of the world. And then you fly around and do the objectives. Sometimes once you do one objective, you get sent to a second area and maybe a third area. So for me, at least this game feels strange in the sense that it kind of encourages you to play in a party. So for any of these expeditions, you have the option to put it on public or private and it encourages you to put it on public. But the thing is, once you're in an expedition, you can't type to anybody. And I'm not even sure you can use voice chat because I haven't seen any evidence of either for the two days that I've been playing. So without either of those, I feel like you're just playing with CPUs. You know they're human, but you don't have any sort of interaction with them at all. So it just feels really off-putting. For me, I just started playing on private because I won a challenge. I feel like when you're in a party with four and right now the hardest difficulty I can set it on is hard. It doesn't feel that hard with four other people there. So I've just been playing as private and playing on hard by myself because it's more challenging that way. It just feels pointless to me to play it on public. But the thing is, if I play it on private and if I die constantly trying to achieve something, I don't think I'm getting experience for attempts because it's objective based. It won't give you experience until you complete the entire mission. And I think the experience you get is based on feats you gain, like medals for certain things you accomplish during the mission. And I have no idea what they are. I don't bother reading them. For me personally, as a player that would lean towards playing by myself, at least while leveling for this game, it just kind of sucks to not gain experience for attempts on a harder difficulty because you die and then it respawns you at the start of the objective you're working on. So you feel like you kind of lose progress. Anything you killed doesn't really matter because all of that will be reset. For some reason, you can't see the map while you're moving. And maybe I haven't discovered the proper way to do this yet, but I feel like if there was a way to do it, they should have made it apparent through some sort of tip or tutorial or something. But from my understanding, you can't use the map while you're moving. So anytime I want to find out where I want to go, I have to hit the map and then I'm stopped moving. And then I have to look and see, and then you have to keep doing that. So if I'm flying around on the big map and I'm trying to find a specific location, I have to fly somewhere and then press map and then open it up, see if I'm going in the right direction and then keep going and try again. Obviously, if you have a good sense of direction and you use the compass at the top of your screen, it might not be as bad, but I just think that even having a mini map would be great, but you don't get that at all. I just feel like it's too much of a stop and go kind of thing. If you have to stop moving, press map, check, and you have to do that back and forth constantly. So that's just very inconvenient to play. And I feel like it makes it feel like such a hassle when something such as checking your map shouldn't really ever feel that way. The next part is just going through the menu. I feel like in this game, they implement so many screens that you have to either load through. Their loading times tend to be very long. And it's just so many parts to get to something when it doesn't need to be that way. So for example, one of the quests that I'm working on right now that I actually don't want to finish that will prevent me from progressing in the game is a quest that feels like wow grinding or mindless bullshit because it's stuff like collect 15 chests, 
collect 10 collectibles. Kill mobs 15 times in a melee attack. Kill 30 mobs with an ability. Kill 30 mobs with your weapon. Can you imagine doing this quest while you're just leveling and starting to learn and get used to the game? You can't progress further in the story until you do it. So I am 98% done with this quest. But right now I still need to collect eight chests and those are so random. I don't know where to find them in the world. And it's hard to look for them because if you're flying around, you can't really see a chest very easily amongst the ground because of distance and just might be hidden by color. It's just hard to spot. So I don't know if I feel like doing something stupid like flying around the world looking for chest to loot. That's what I have to do to progress further. And anyways, if I wanted to track this quest, whenever I go into the menu, I have to click three different things first before I can look at my progress on it. And in order to get out of the menu, I have to hit escape three times. And you have to do that every single time. Can you imagine how tedious that is? I feel like overall, my experience playing this game feels so unnecessarily stressful because of things that aren't working. There are definitely bugs in this game. So for example, strongholds is another instance type that I was trying out earlier today, but it's not working for me. I spawn somewhere behind a door and the door is not opening, so I can't reach my objective whatsoever. So a lot of people on Reddit are complaining about this bug and I just don't think I have the patience for this game anymore because I feel like stuff like this shouldn't really be happening on launch if you've tested your product properly and a lot of their features like the menu thing, the map thing, no auto run, no running in this town, all of those things just makes this game such a pain in the ass to play. So even though the combat part is definitely pretty cool, I do enjoy it, but every other aspect just makes it not fun to play. They also have this one area called the launch bay where you are in this room with all these other people with their javelins and you can't type to people. You can't really do anything in this area except do the usual interacting with modifying your javelin or checking out what you have in your inventory and stuff like that. So this whole area just feels completely pointless. I honestly don't know what I was expecting from this game because I don't actually have that much experience trying out a bunch of new games. My game exposure tends to be all the Blizzard games, Dota, Artifact, CSGO, and I think that's it in terms of recent years, League of Legends also. But you know how some people try out a bunch of Steam games and every other thing, like I didn't know about Epic Games. I have never tried an Origin game, maybe Sims, that's it. Trying out this game and realizing all this crap that I have to deal with is a little surprising because I guess I was kind of excited to try out something new. I feel like I tend to have high expectations for newly released games because it's 2019 now, right? I feel like our standards are pretty high and you wouldn't expect anything less, but I know that games can also release with a lot of bumps in the very beginning and then they end up being successful. I feel like they would have to change a lot in order for me to be willing to try this game even more. I know it's super early to say that, but this game is definitely a genre that I'm not even normally familiar with, so I don't have strong attachments to continue playing it. I want to try to be more open-minded with trying out games nowadays. So normally I would just be averse to first-person shooters and anything that's not one that I'm familiar with, something that I already know and have researched a lot. So aside from this game, I might also try out Apex Legends because I know people that play that and I can see if I'll enjoy playing it with them. I never play first person shooters, so I am a little bit intimidated about that. I want to at least give it a chance, right? You won't know how you feel about it until you experience it for yourself. So I will be open minded and try out these things. And maybe if Rocket League goes on sale, I can buy that too, try it out, who knows? I just 
miss gaming. I don't want to just completely stop doing it, which I have not really been playing anything at all. Artifact, an hour or two a week doesn't really count. And Artifact isn't a game I can play for long periods of time. And it's also, admittedly, expensive to play. And I don't want to waste all of my Steam money on Artifact. I kind of steered away from talking about Anthem, but generally, that's just what my experience has been. I mean, the game looks really cool, actually. I think it's really pretty. Yeah, they just really need to realize and understand what a person might be feeling or thinking while playing their game. All right, I think that's pretty much most of what my complaints are, but all of them piled together is going to be a very unpleasant experience.